Hey guys, Wolfie here, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to stream on Twitch.tv for free. So let's go ahead and hop right on into it. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is get your streaming software. The streaming software we're going to be using is called Open Broadcaster Software, or for short, OBS. Now, I'll go ahead and I'll put the link in the description down below so that you can download it. Okay, so you're going to go ahead, head on over to their site, and then download the version that will work with your PC. Now, as you can see, Windows 7, OS X, Linux, the version that I'm using right now, which I'm actually using to record the video, is an older version of OBS. It's called OBS Classic. And that you can see right over here, there's some text here that's red. Yeah, if you want to download this version, which is the older version, you can download it right there. Okay, so you're going to want to check the operating system that you're on. You're going to want to know whether it's a 32-bit or a 64-bit so that you're running the version that will work perfectly on your system. Now, in order to figure out, let's say you're on Windows, if you want to find out what kind of system you've got, go ahead and click on the Windows icon in the search box, type in system information, and then click on what shows up. It should tell you what kind of a system you're on. Now, once you've done that and you have the right version of OBS downloaded and it's installed, go ahead and run it. And once you start it up, it should look a little something like this window that I've got down here. And this window, your window won't have anything in the middle. It'll be completely black. Mine is showing me what I'm doing on the screen as I am recording this. Okay, so now that you have that done, the first thing we're going to want to do is set the base settings. So let's go ahead and walk through that now. It's pretty much the same for OBS Studio, except OBS Studio, they simplify it just a little bit. It'll pretty much be the same. On OBS Studio, though, there is not a settings button. So if that's what you're using alongside with me here as we're doing this, you're going to need to click on File, and then under File, you'll see a tab which says Settings. Click on that, and it'll pretty much take you to where we're going right now. Okay, settings, and then once again, settings. Okay, now that we've got this open, the first thing we're going to want to do is go over to broadcast settings. Now, once you're over at broadcast settings, you'll see mine says file output only. That's because I'm recording. It's saving it to my hard drive. But if you're going to stream, you want to go to live stream. Okay, so go ahead and change that to live stream. And as you can see, our settings changed here. Now, the service we'll be using is Twitch. As you can see, they have other services. If you do want to stream to something else, you can. So make sure Twitch is selected. Uh, what we're going to do over here, we want to pick the server which is closest to where I'm located or where you're located. So the server closest to me is on the East Coast. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one right over here. Um, there's New York and Miami. The closest one is best. So once that is selected, you've selected which one is closest to you. We're going to go ahead and go down to this box right here where it says play path slash stream key. Now we're going to have to find out what your stream key is. Now in order to do that, you're going to need to log on to your Twitch account. So let's go ahead and head on over to Twitch to find out what that is. All right. So here we are. I'm logged on to my Twitch account. I'm going to go on up into the right corner. I'm going to click on my account and then I'm going to click on dashboard. Now from dashboard, we're going to be over here when we get to our dashboard. We're going to be on live and then we're going to go to this tab over here, which is called stream key. And here we're going to click on this button and there's a little disclaimer here which says never share your stream key and what they say listen to it you never want to share your stream key because if you share your stream key whoever has it can stream on your channel and you don't want other people streaming on your channel so never share your stream key now you click on this right here which says I understand and then your stream key will pop up you're going to want to copy and paste that into the box on OBS. So 
let's say we copied it and now we're going to go over here back into obs and we're going to paste our stream key let's just put in some numbers there for now and there we go my stream key is now in there all right so now that my stream key is in there we're going to go ahead and make some adjustments to some of the other settings here okay yes and it's going to say would you like to save yes we need to save Okay, so our settings have now been saved for broadcast settings. Let's go ahead and set up everything else. Okay, so these are the video settings now. Now the best thing to do here for resolution downscale is to set it to none. And the reason for that is because that puts the least amount of work on your PC. Okay, uh, frames per second, that depends on the game that you're playing. It's best to leave it at 30 as that's what the average game runs at okay so now we're going to go to audio settings if you have a microphone plugged in you're going to want to make sure that's working so as you can see down here this bar is moving up and down that lets me know my mic is working and everything is just fine but if it were not working let's say obs did not recognize that i had a mic plugged in what it would be on is probably something like this either disable or default and nothing would be showing up down here this wouldn't be moving so what i would need to do is set it to microphone which is a, a blue yeti that's what i'm using and now it knows that i'm using a mic now this isn't updated in real time see because it says here these settings won't be applied until the next time you begin streaming so let's say my mic were not working and i changed this setting i would have to hit ok stop streaming and then restart it before you would see this bar moving so now we've got our video set up we've got our audio set up we have one more thing which we need to set up and that is now encoding okay encoding is the amount of data that we're going to be putting out on our stream now this depends on your upload speed and what it is that you're trying to get quality wise so let's go ahead and take a speed test to find out our speed because it depends entirely on what your upload speed is everyone's upload speed varies okay so we're gonna run a speed test here you can type this in on Google just type in speed test click the first one that pops up the second one is fine too I've used that before and this will test your internet it'll tell you what your upload speed is and your download speed what you're looking for here is your upload speed okay it looks like my upload speed is actually a little low right now it's on the lower side all right so right now my upload speed is 2.86 megabits megabits per second okay so let's head on over here what this speed is in is kilobits per second so what you want to do here is you want to now depending on the quality you're trying to get don't go above 720 because on twitch that doesn't work out too well the max that i would suggest is 3500 and that is the very very max normally i would say 2000 works just fine but depending on what your upload speed is because you can't go over your upload speed of course that just won't work yeah depending on what it is that's what you're going to set that number to now since mine is way above any of these here I would set mine roughly around 2000, 2500. That would work pretty well. That's what I would set it to, and that would give me 720p quality. As you can see right now, it's 3300. I know it's a little on the higher end, and that, that's okay if you want to do that. That's perfectly fine, but for you, I would recommend 2000. Now, you can choose to do this or not. That's entirely up to you uh cbr now this is what i like to set it to cbr 3300 so that it works just fine and then over here my buffer size is set to the same thing as my bit rate now you can set that to half your bit rate but it's best to set it to your max bit rate now you don't need to use cbr like i do if you need to lower down the quality because maybe your pc can't handle streaming at such a high output you can always lower it down 
if you need to just click on CBR okay now that we have that done let's go ahead and look at the audio the audio doesn't matter too much with the audio it is using up data as well from your upload so you want to make sure your audio combined with your video are not going over the amount which you have your upload so normally 128 should work just fine okay so you're gonna go ahead and hit okay on everything and then once you've done that we're gonna move on to the next step now now for you down here this will be completely empty there won't be anything here so you're gonna need to set this up and in order to set this up what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to right click on this over here the scenes box and then you select add scene a scene will pop up in the scene box now once the scene is there you're gonna go ahead and head on over to the right side now and this is where you're gonna set up your camera your game any screens that you may need to change during gameplay any text that you'll have scrolling this is how you set all that up so let's go ahead and take a look at setting up the camera okay so video capture device is what your camera would fall under okay so video capture device please enter a name video capture device will have a little tab here which shows up saying video capture device okay so my camera is right there and uh, these are settings that you can change it's entirely up to you what these are at it doesn't really matter for this right here that's up to you if you want to change any of the settings you can do that I'll just show you I'm just showing you how to get everything working okay so we hit OK and now my camera is right here alrighty my camera is not showing up on the screen because I have it off at the moment but it is there see when I do this you can see the outline of where my camera would be and that's how you'd move the camera around if that's something that you want to do you hit edit scene and then you move it around and you can resize it to any size that you want to resize it to okay so that's how you set up your webcam if you have one attached now we're gonna look into how to set up your game so that your game shows up behind your webcam okay so in order for your game to set up you're gonna want to go back into here and you'll most likely either be choosing window capture device depend it depends on the game you can choose window capture device there's also game capture there's video capture if you're streaming through a capture card yeah whichever one the game is showing up on is the one that you're going to use so let's go ahead and do window capture okay so window capture now we, if you click here it'll show all the windows that you currently have open right now it's selecting this window automatically so whichever window it is that you want to choose you need to select it here and then once you select it you hit OK and now as you can see it's capturing the screen of my open broadcaster software that's why open broadcaster disappeared for me it's capturing the actual screen so that's what happened there and you can do whatever you want with this you can move it around as you can see I I still have the uh, st other things in the background you can make it smaller you can make it bigger you just gotta hit the edit scene button in order to do that yeah, you, a ton of things you could do with it. You could put it in the corner. Maybe you want to put your camera in the bottom corner. Yeah, you're free to do whatever it is that you want to do here. So that's how you would capture your game if it were in a window. And now, if you want to do it the other way, let's go ahead and just make this window a little smaller for right now. Let's leave it over there like that for now okay let me go ahead and show you now how to do game capture okay so you just go over here you click on game capture okay and right over here the applications will show up you pick which one it is that is the game and you hit okay and I also want to note that right here sometimes the game may be smaller than the screen you can stretch the image in order to fit the screen if you'd like by clicking on this right here and then you hit OK and that's pretty much it 
Now just a heads up, you can move these around and in order to do that, what you want to do is you want to click on one, you want to hit control and then you can take it up and down. And what that does is that puts it in front of and behind things on your screen here. So whatever you need on top, you can move to the top by doing this or you can put it to the bottom. And once you're done moving things around, remember to hit edit scene again to get rid of those red boxes. And there we go, you're streaming on Twitch now. It'll be no time for your professional edit. Be sure to play around with the program so that you'll learn how to work the other sources. Alright guys, remember to drop a like in the video if it did help you out, and subscribe to the channel for future videos. I'm Wolfie, and I'll see you next time.